we're going to work through these notes before us, which are all about measuring angles in degrees and radians. So let's begin by discussing what radians are. So let's give these notes a read. We usually measure angles in units of degrees. Another unit of measure for angles is radians. One radian, one superscript C or one rad, is the angle subtended at the center of a circle by an arc that is equal in length to the radius of the circle. Bit of a mouthful there. If we come and look at our little diagram here, we can make sense of that. So what this is saying is this has a length of R, and if this here has the same length R, and obviously this is going to have the same length again R, because it's just, again, the radius, so all of these have the same length, the length R. The angle I create, therefore, we call one radian. So that's really what it's saying there. So it's the angle subtended at the center of a circle by an arc that is equal in length to the radius of the circle. We continue to read. Often the symbol for radian is omitted. So this little superscript C here, or even this rad, these things here, we usually just omit them. We don't put units for our radians. So for example, 45 degrees is written as pi on four, rather than pi on four and then this unit symbol here for a C. We just don't put it there. So when we're talking about radians, we don't tend to use units. All right, the next thing we're gonna talk about is our unit circle, which we're going to be seeing a lot of. And here it is right here. So if I rub out all of this, you can see that what my unit circle is, is a, cir it's a circle with a radius of one with a radius of one. So consider the unit circle, a circle of the form x squared plus y squared equals one. So this is just the rule for a circle. The circumference of the unit circle is equal to, well, the circumference of a circle is just two pi r. Because it's a unit circle, the uh, radius is one. So therefore the circumference, so that is the distance around the circle is two pi. All right, let's now discuss something very important. And that is converting between degrees and radians. Since we know there are 360 degrees in a circle and there are two pi radians in a circle, we can use this to convert between the two units of measure. All right, so let's have a look here. If I know that 360 degrees is equal to two pi radians, and this is one of those rare instances in which we are going to use units for radians, and that's simply because we're doing something definitional here, but you know, as you will see later on, we're not going to use units. Anyway, uh, 360 degrees is two pi radians. Well. If I was to divide both sides by 360, oops, 360, that would mean that on this side, I would just be left with one degree. And then over here, I would be left with pi on 180 radian. So that means one degree is equal to pi on 180 radians. And we could do the same thing over on this side. So this is saying that two pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. Well, I could divide this by two pi and I could divide this by two pi. And that means what I'm going to be left with is one radian is equal to 180 on pi. And now that I have these, so I know what one degree is and I know what one radian is, I can create this, which tells me if I have something in degrees, and I want to turn it into radians, I just need to times it by pi on 180, as you can see here, because we know that one degree is pi on 180 radian. So too, if I have radians and I want to go to degrees, well, since I know that one radian is equal to 180 degrees, what I do is I just times the whatever the radian is by pi on 180 over pi. So let's now go through these four examples here. The first one, convert the following from degrees to radians. So what we're going to do here is because I am starting with something in degrees, it would come up here, I'm, I'm starting with something in degrees and I need to go to radians. So I'm timesing it by pi on 180. So I times it by pi on 180, which is 120 pi on 180. And then of course you want to simplify this. So how would I simplify? Well, I could cancel these zeros and then 12 and uh, 18 are both divisible by six. So that means at the end of the day, what I'm going to be left with here is two pi on three. And that is going to be my answer. Two pi on three is my first answer. You might like to pause the video and see if you can answer this one right here. It does have a negative, but the negative changes nothing. That just means my answer will be negative. So what are we going to do here? I'm going to times by pi on 180, just as we did above. So that means I'm going to be left with negative 390 pi on 180. 
and then I will simplify, I will cancel these zeros, and then I can divide both sides by three, or top and bottom by three. That means I'm going to be left with negative 13 pi on 18 divided by three is six. And then just remember, because it is negative, I need to make sure my answer is negative as well. So just there, we went from degrees to radians. But now, if I'm going from radians to degrees, well, here's radians, here's degrees, I have to times by 180 over pi. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to go times 180 over pi. And that means what I'm going to do now is that will cancel with that. And now I've got 6 and 180. I can cancel both of those as well. I can divide them both by 6. So this will become 1. And what's 180 divided by 6? 180 uh, divided by 6 is going to be 30. So I'm going to be left with 30 here. And then I'm going to go, changing pens. I'm going to go 5 times 30 is 150. 1 times, well, in this case, there's still a 1 there, isn't there? So it's going to be 150 degrees. So that's going to be my answer there. 150 degrees. And then last but not least, you might want to pause the video and see if you can do this one for yourself. We're again going to times by 180 over pi and then just simplify now. So I'm going to have this cancel with this. And then I've got 3 and 180, both of which are divisible by 3. I can cancel this to become 1. And then what's 180 divided by 3? It is 60. And now you've just got to remember that because my answer, because I, my original question was negative, my answer has to be negative. So it's going to be what's 5 times 60? That's uh, 300. So it's going to be negative 300 over 1. So it will be negative 300 degrees. And that is going to be my answer. Hi, Baba. So that is how you go between from radians to degrees and degrees to radians.